Hi, thanks for watching. I have two topics of discussion for this week. One is how I choose my produce for the week. And the other, I'm going to save for later. It's a mystery. So how I choose my produce each week is I get on the phone. On Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm on the phone and I am talking to farmers and asking them about their prices, what they have, what looks good, what they have a quantity of, what I could get a large amount of. Um, those things that I buy in quantity are in the picks are the things that I get really good value for because I'm volume buying. And I always do local first. And then, you know, if it gets tough, I will go outside of, of um, California, like this week, um, an avocado from Mexico, a gala apple from Washington, and the Kent mango, which is a gorgeous mango. Look at my produce pics below for the description. And uh, that is from Peru. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so that is, is how I buy for the week. And those are my choices. If you go in your account and you click fill my box, that's what you'll get if you have no preferences set of things that you don't want. Okay, so the second topic of discussion, I've gotten a few questions lately about pricing. Some, some people thinking that I get a little higher than Whole Foods sometimes, and it is certainly true. And I just wanted to talk about the difference between my model of buying and Whole Foods model of buying produce. <clears throat> First of all, Whole Foods, um, I know a lot of you shop there because I've done surveys and um, I don't want to say anything about Whole Foods that's uh, disparaging because I'm sure they do a great job in, in many communities and bring, you know, organics where sometimes, you know, people couldn't get organic. But there is a difference, quite a big difference uh, in the way I buy and the way they buy. And um, they buy for, first of all, they are huge. So the, they have an enormous buying capacity and they are so huge and have so much, you know, volume that they buy that they set the prices, not the farmer. So uh, that's, a, that's a big difference. Planet Organics works with farmers, mostly small farmers, and we let the farmers set the prices based on seasonality, and this is exactly the way it's meant to work. Farmers need to make a good living wage, and um, and so, yeah, so uh, that is, is, is how we do it, and that is, that is I believe, a, a very fair way to do it. Although, I think that um, another advantage to plant organics is you don't have to look and search for what's organic and what's not, because Another thing that's different about Whole Foods and larger grocery chains is they will buy organic only when organic is cheap. So I buy organic all the time, only, ever. So, um, and that's also the way I think it should be. So uh, it's, I, you know, when you're supporting Planet Organics, you're supporting a lot of small farmers that count on you for their living wage. And, um, and also we get some really great prices and Lorraine's picks are one of the, the things that you should go for because we do get the, you know, better pricing on things that we buy in volume. Uh, and hey, we bring it straight to your door with uh, loving care and uh, that's got to count for something, right? All right, so if you haven't checked us out on Facebook yet, please do so because we're having lots of fun there. About 25 of you joined last week. Thank you so much. It's so fun um, sharing and uh, winning some prizes and some good information on there. And I'm going to start posting pictures of um, some of the farmers and get to know people in our community. Happy, I hope you have a great weekend. And hey, got down to three, three minutes and 54 seconds. Have a great weekend. Bye.